Hi, I'm Ellen from Okra and Okra. Here's Chioma. And we're going to show you a little bit of the work we've been doing around our tiny house. So, coming in, this is our um, practice go for painting the deck. I'm actually quite pleased with that because it's just ceiling white and a paint sample, so it's not actually outdoor paint. Um, and it's stayed on pretty well. That was a stencil over the top. So that's the idea of what we're going to do there using actual um, outdoor timber decking paint. And then we've got our upcycled cane lounge that we sewed this new cover for from Vintage Material. That was a curtain that I got at Vinnie's. And that's the um, footstool that goes with it. And then coming inside our bifolds. So we're still not able to be living in here. It's all right, Chi Chi. We're still not living in here because we're not on site yet. What are you doing? So we've just got some lighter furniture in here, but it was really important to me. As I was saying, it was really important to me because I couldn't wasn't in a position to get the whole house made out of reclaimed material, which is what I would have ideally done. But in our situation, having to move out from our home pretty quickly and having Chioma, uh, I wasn't really in a position to wait as long as that was going to take. Um, so we went with our Havenwood Jackson model. So um, it was really important to me that I could source as much of our furniture and things um, than, you know, that what we needed uh, secondhand and reclaimed. So I got uh, this table and the nest of tables um, for 20 bucks each. And these chairs were actually on the side of the road. Um, I've also got a mid-century desk upstairs in what will be Chioma's room for the moment so one of these chairs will go up there and when we move the house to its final resting place we will um put the couch in here um and then i've got my stools this was from the same place that was also twenty dollars um so what we've done in terms of a couple of changes this door was originally painted white a bit of distressed and i chose this color for the kitchen which Rick, the um, builder, always called blue. I sort of wanted it to be much more minty green. Um, so, and I always imagined having this sort of peacock to this door. Ah, <gasps> TT. So I've now painted that. That's what it looks like. I'm really happy with that. Kitchen dresser. That's gonna go here against that wall. Um, again, we haven't put it in because it all, we don't want to bounce around when we're moving. Um, so that space will be taken up as well. It's our bathroom in case you were interested. So same color in here. We've got um, a hand painted Mexican sink to go in here. And just a little tub for TT to use as a bath. Um, and I've got my two paintings which are also from the same shop I got the furniture from I got those framed and they're up and ready and they are just the velcro you know 3m sticky things to the wall um also because when we use this fireplace I don't want that to get damaged so I'll have to take down them down when we decide we're gonna have a fire and I've started, for the same reason, I want to put wallpaper on this wall, but I don't want, uh, this fire's got all the, the side insulation panels or the back insulation panel that it needs to be able to be this close to the wall, but um, just to avoid any discoloration of the wallpaper, I got some second hand, some more tin. Now it's not this, this is the new reproduction one. That's all lovely and shiny and new. This one's actually reclaimed and I've been sanding them back. You can see them out there. I've been just uh, oh well, using steel wool to brush them back and then repainting them. So they, they will create the back fire and then the 
um, wallpaper will start above that here. Jeremy's just playing with her toys. And then even though um, our Jackson model has some pretty good three quarter length, I'm gonna say, hanging space downstairs. I wanna use this for my outdoor coats and things like that. But also I have a few sort of hippie boho dresses that are more than three quarter length. Not very much stuff, but a little bit. So I've been working on installing my open wardrobe upstairs. You're right, JJ? You having fun? So up here, I've got some more bits and bobs coming. So this is our bedroom, or will be our bedroom. So we've got this shelving here, and I've got a dresser, mid-century, or it's a chest of drawers, which will go, this is the end of it with this tape. And what I've done is this shelf, put this hanging rail on it, and I have to get those brackets bent so that will go along here and have a similar sort of three quarter hanging than the dresser. And then for my long boho dresses, hey sweetie, like this one, this is really the only space in the bedroom where you can put long hang where it's not. If I put it out here, it would really stick out and take up so much of the room. Is that the light switch? <gasps> So I've just tucked it in here so I can get that uh, 25 centimeters so I can get a good amount of dresses there. When the rest of the open wardrobe's in, it won't look so odd. And um, I've lined up the end with the, the light switch. That's that light from on the stairs. So people will still be able to see it. And I, you know, you're not gonna be running into the dresses when you're coming up the stairs. So yes, it means that you can see some dresses when you come up the stairs, um, but I thought having them this way looked a bit neater. Um, if I wanted to fit more, I actually have the end of this bar that can go sideways this way, which would give me a significantly more space. It would give me that width um, or length to hang them sideways. So that's um, a possible change if I need it, but I thought this way was neater to start and a bit less intrusive. So that's the first change up here. And then for little Chi Chi here, ah, careful, who's been learning to go up and down the stairs. Um, I sort of ummed and about how to do baby gates and then I found these retractable ones. So I've got two of those. So you turn this. All right, so that's on. So Gioma is not going downstairs in the middle of the night while we're sharing a bedroom. <laughs> so now this is a safe spot for her and I don't have to worry about her disappearing down the stairs at night. So to secure the safety gate, it's got these clips this is um, just through the cabinet. So that side was quite easy. This side, we needed it up here where this window is. So we've just put this um, little piece of wood, attached it to the skirting board and the window frame um, and put a little hook on that. So it's quite, quite sturdy. Um, and that can be taken out when Chi Chi doesn't need the gate anymore. Alright, we're going to take away. Come, sit down please. Take away. Sit. Slide. Yeah, come on. You can come for me. Sit. Slide. Sit. Slide. Sit. Slide. Sit. Slide. Alright, we're going to talk about this one. So we've got the other gate up there ready to go. But, currently, um, I'm not too worried about Chiroma getting up here. What we did do, sit down please. Slide, good girl. So obviously this ladder has stairs or rungs below this. So what I've done to baby proof this one is this is just a piece of tin that I've sprayed black 
and I've tech screwed that into the ladder so that Chioma can't get onto the bottom of the ladder as she learns to climb a bit more. And from this step, I can quite easily step across here and I can get up. I can help her up from here if need be, but she can't independently access those bottom rungs. So that's what we've done to baby safe this side and that will have a baby gate up there as well to keep her safe if we're up there. Um, at the moment, that's got my little desk. I'll just give you a quick look. It's not got much. Again, because we haven't moved in yet, so there's a gate ready to go. But you've got my little desk. Um, one of those chairs will be up at my sewing machine. My vintage singer will come up here and we'll pop a bunch of Chi Chi's toys up here. And once the gate's up, then it can be, she can be in a safe space to have a play while I do some sewing or some other work. And we hope to, we're gonna put some partitions in there and make a little doll house for her in one of these. Hi. So as you can see, she cannot get up there by herself. There we go. So I'm quite pleased with how that's working. Yeah. And then around this side, because you want to use all the space you've got in the tiny house, I've left these rungs open and we've tucked some of Chi Chi's toys in there. And she's got a basket down here for some more toys. Um, and her rocking horse, that's Pokey. So she's got something that she can immediately access. And then what we're doing is this drawer here, which she can get to, has sort of her excess. And I rotate those so that she doesn't get too sick of what she's got, but we don't need to be buying her new stuff. Other thing is, I've just got two light fittings up there. I got those for a dollar each from the remaker in the Hawkesbury. Um, one of the outcomes of choosing to have the bifold doors was that the heater that's normally in between these two louvers had to move into the corner, which is fantastic, except for the fact that then the TV point is now up here. So if you're sitting on the couch, you can see that light. If I want to send to my TV, which I do because I'm a bit um, particular about things like that, that light is going to be right in the middle of my television. And yes, I know I could put it on one side or the other and put a picture next to it. But anyway, my preference is for it to be centered. So I've got those two lights and I'm going to try and put them so they end up hanging on either side of the TV. And I still have that light over the bench. Um, so those two small ones will hopefully replace this one um, light fitting in the middle. What do you think, Chi Chi? <laughs> All right, so that's sort of how we've got the tiny house set up at the moment. Unfortunately, because we can't um, move in until we can get it down to the pad, it's uh, a very nice playroom for Chioma at the moment. <laughs> anyway, when we are moved in and more settled, I will give everybody more of a tour of that. Thanks for watching. Say bye. Bye, Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Bye. Is that your doggy? What's your doggy doing?